Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I wanted to come back and kind of do another uh, process video on the Gypsy Rose um, series that we've been doing because obviously I talked last time about doing it once a week and only half an hour videos. It's kind of, um, you know, taking quite a while and obviously I've got lots of other projects that are <laughs> kind of on the go at the same time. So I thought if we just kind of um, added an extra episode maybe this week, then, you know, it maybe will kind of... Um, you know free up a little bit of time for some of the other things that I've also got on the go so um, before I get started I just want to kind of point out because uh, I've had a few questions about what paint do I use for the pages I just literally use acrylic paints I buy these little um, all-purpose acrylic paints they're by do crafts um, I'm sure there are cheaper ways of buying it because these are about one pound 25 I think for these tiny bottles and hardly ever do you see them on three for two or anything like that um but yeah i have kind of looked at larger bottles by other brands but they tend to be very you know vibrant bright colors which you know aren't necessarily what you want whereas these they do a massive massive array of colors and um lots of really muted tones and really kind of nice colors i'm just going to check out the window but that's not my Sorry, I could hear a um, car alarm going off and my car is in for a service today. So I've actually got a different car lent to me by the garage. So I just wanted to check that it wasn't that. So anyway, that's the um, acrylic paint that I use. So, and for these pages, I have been using this one, which as you can see is covered in paint called Sage. This one, Sea Spray and I don't actually think this is the one that I've been using. Um, this is sand. I'm not sure whether it is or not, but anyway, so that's that one. And since last time, I have um, cracked on and painted a couple more of the pages. As you can see, I'm now covered in paint. Um, <laughs> I've obviously still got a few, a few to paint, but obviously they take quite a while because you have to kind of leave the book then, you know, open or dry with your heat tool but the problem is drying with your heat tool sometimes then your pockets that are glued down can come unstuck and also I like to double double stick sorry that was my phone double stick the pages so you've got extra thickness so they're also glued so yeah I prefer not to use my heat um, tool anyway so cracking on so I've literally just painted literally a couple of pages there so cracking on, um, last week we did this particular page with the fold out and I thought we'll just finish this double page spread off by popping something opposite it. So I've kind of, again, to try and save a bit of time, tentatively popped things where they may go. So I've got this kind of green shaded um, calendar item. Now all of the items are from the Gypsy Rose kit. So um, I will obviously say if they're not, I think I've only used maybe a couple of postage stamps or something that actually aren't from the, the Gypsy Rose digital kit. Aside from that, I think every single thing that we've used has been, you know, something from the kit, which is obviously, you know, the aim here. So I'm just distressing to that. It's kind of roughly just so it kind of blends in a bit over the other side. And then I wondered about this little gypsy caravan down here. Um, but before I actually kind of commit to that, I did wonder just now about a kind of greeny colour flower. So I'm just rummaging back through my little packet of bits that I've kind of cut out already. And I've got a little rosebud. And the reason I say that is because I've got a little rosebud, hopefully I'm in frame, up here on this... Um, corner that we did last week so I thought maybe that would be kind of nice to have a similar colour going on there so we could have that kind of like that um, and we could have a little kind of bush down there might do it like that um, or this caravan I guess we wouldn't need to cover it up like that maybe we'll do that 
So I'm just going to ink this up. I've had a lot of fun with this kit. There's loads and loads and loads of elements. I actually can't remember now how many there are. I have a feeling it was something like 145 different elements in this kit. And I honestly and truly have barely used any, um, which has been awesome, you know, because I've got loads of things that I've fussy cut out ready to kind of use on other little projects now. Um, but that's how many that there were, is that, you know, I've actually kind of barely used, you know, half the kit. So um, that's kind of rather nice to know, really. So I'll just weigh that down like that. And then um, just see about having some lace that kind of matches that lace there. So I'll just chop that off. I'm not going to upload these videos on the same day, but just, just so as you know, in case I kind of say things that are very strange this is this is the same day I'm doing this the same day that I did the last process video um, because I thought actually I'm going to kind of crack on and oh like that I'm going to crack on and uh, you know make a bit more progress with this so sorry I've just rolled over my hot glue gun now my son's chair right um, yeah, so just in case I kind of say anything like earlier today or anything, that's why. Because although for you guys I'm going to kind of upload on different days, for me this is the same day that I did the last one. So, just so as you know that, because I don't want you all thinking I've literally gone mad. Although, <laughs> that is a possibility. I, I really like that like that. So, um, again, just for speed, I'm going to literally glue this one here so just tuck that there yeah I love doing um, the altered books with the acrylic paint um, I love the fact that instantly you have you know a coloured background um, I have used it myself to kind of journal on I find it perfectly fine to write on um, you know, so yeah, I think it's quite a versatile way to kind of do an altered book because then you've instantly got a kind of canvas then to work on. So personally, that's my go-to, my go-to style for altered books is um, paint with acrylic paints. Somebody did suggest um, watercolour, which I thought sounded beautiful. Obviously, I'm not sure how thick that would be. Um, so, with kind of from the point of view of the text really showing through, I'm just rolling this um, lace back up. With the text showing through, and obviously the beauty of the acrylic paint, you know, it really can be quite thick. So, um, you know, you can still see or make out the text, but it's not so much so that you can't right over it if that makes sense so you know for me I think that's really rather lovely um, I'm just having a look at the little flower trims that I've got here to see whether we wanted to pop a flower anywhere yeah so I think the watercolour I think would look really very 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 pretty um, I'm just not sure that it would give you enough coverage for, I'm just going to literally hot glue this, but try and use kind of the bare minimum, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm not sure whether you'd have enough coverage to be able to write over the text. Um, but, you know, if anyone there has tried it, then... I'd love to hear your thoughts below, you know, and um, the results of that below. Because definitely I think, wow, that would look really pretty. So, love that. Um, you know, really simple, really quick and easy to do. Just literally used a handful of pieces from the kit. We could even have a bit of bling there because I love the bling. So, I'll just chop that. 
Oh, it just looks so pretty. So what I'll do is just stick this little flower down. And I'll just hot glue that. Oh, I'm covered now in paint and glue and goodness knows what else. So um, I just have to hide my hands when I go on the school run. Okay. Yeah, that looks really pretty. So there's another page completed so that was very quick and easy now the next page is actually the next page which I thought we would work on and again I've kind of tentatively kind of um, popped things there although now I'm thinking I'd like this to dry really so I just wonder whether I've got an ivory colored page that I've painted I think I have let me write back here and what I'm planning on doing these ones I have not glued together I'm going to leave them just for journaling and so we'll probably just literally kind of finish them like this so um, in fact we could just do one or two while we're waiting for the this page to dry so this one as you can see it actually got stuck against here so I've got a bit of kind of peeling but I mean that doesn't really worry me I'm just going to literally ink around this page a bit and I will do that for the whole book, but I will probably do that, you know, in slow time. So she's not all just literally watching me ink a page, which would be pretty boring. But just so that it's, um, you know, a bit more interesting to look at, really. And while I'm at it, I'll just do the facing page. Now, this facing page is doubled up and also it is um a pocket page so i will embellish the facing page there we go but for this one what i thought we'll do is just these first few pages because some of them had obviously very little obviously i need to paint this very little text on so they were very ideal for journaling just as is so I've kind of left them pretty blank and so what I thought we'd do is literally just kind of decorate them with a couple of elements from the kit, literally just kind of so they've got just something on the page but not taking over, you know, not actually decorating the page if that makes sense. So you've got all that room for journaling and not too much actually kind of stuck on the page. So on this page, for instance, I'm just going to literally pop this little clock on here. Just kind of as you would, you know, in a kind of conventional scrapbook album, or I think they might be called glue books, where literally we're just literally gluing now some little bits and bobs down just to make it look pretty, really. So when you go through there, so I'll just make sure that's stuck. I mean, I just think that's quite nice because then you've got just a few blank page pages as you go into the book and, um, you know, plenty of room there for kind of journaling. So I'm just looking for my lace trim. Here we go. And then what I'll do is just pop a little bit of lace here underneath it again. I kind of tend to sew this, uh, not sew, sorry, cut this you know header seam off because it's a little bit on the bulk side and then I don't want to really use my hot glue because this is just a thin page that's famous last words and I probably will do next time and you all you know wonder but I just I don't want it kind of um, being too lumpy because obviously it would be quite apparent on these thin pages so we can just do that like that and then actually, just wondering while we're waiting for that to dry, whether we could just kind of pop on something opposite. So we've already got this here done. And if you recall, we did this as one of the early episodes, but we just said it was a little bit wide for this page. I mean, it actually does fit perfectly. Um, 
but just so you've got plenty of room here in the crease. So what I'm going to do is literally trim it down slightly there. I mean, because obviously this is slightly narrower than a page would be on, you know, a kind of um, junk journal, you know, from the A4 sheets of paper. So we'll just pop that like that. Might even trim it down slightly further. And then I might just have to take this piece off down the bottom. Just because for me, I didn't then like how that kind of looked. That you kind of had the bottom edged and not the side. I don't mind the top so much, um, but the bottom just thought should be kind of matching. So we can just kind of pop that on there. We could have it sort of higher. We could have it actually higher and then a tuck from underneath. Um, you know, that could be kind of nice and different. Just see if we want anything else on this page. Oh, perhaps we'll just have it down there. Perhaps we'll just be conventional and have it down here. I'm just going to check how that would be kind of fold wise because I don't want it obviously kind of damaging here in the corner. And then are we going to have it as a tuck or are we going to have it as a pocket is the question. Probably a tuck. So I'm going to literally glue down the two sides. Just pop it like that. I'm just popping it kind of as close to the edge as I can get without going over the edge. So the lace trim is overhanging the edge. Oh, I hope I'm in frame. <laughs> the lace trim is hanging over the edge, but the obviously uh, piece of card is actually not hanging over the edge at all. So that's the tuck spot there. So, you know, that page is then done. So then obviously on this page, this is just again another kind of, um, well, what do you call it? You know, one that I'm going to leave kind of blank for journaling. So I'm just again going to kind of ink it, just literally, you know, very roughly just around the edges, just to give it a bit more character and a bit more interest. And the same with the opposite page. The facing page. Oops. That's very dark there. So what I might do is kind of go over that with a little bit of water and a brush, which obviously I haven't got with me at the moment. So I'll, I'll do that if I remember, kind of later. That's famous last words, isn't it? If I remember. Gosh. Right. So we've got that page there. Now what we could do. What we could do is actually kind of stamp a couple of corners here as well. So um, actually we can't do because I haven't got my ink pad. I've, I've stopped bringing my case so that I've got slightly less things to bring. And I just bring my tin and the tray full of um, things. So oops, and I forgot to put my ring back on after painting. So that was just there on the desk. Um, yeah, so I don't have to bring quite so much stuff with me. So I haven't got my stays on ink I've only got my distress ink I'm not over keen stamping with that right so I'm wondering whether on this page we could just have kind of a little element here we could even have this little cute suitcase so I'm just going to move that out of the way slightly ink up these two bits from the kit well I say these two bits from the kit, the suitcase from the kit, obviously the book page is not from the kit. So actually that's another thing that we've used. So we've used a couple of postage stamps and we've also used a couple of bits of book page. Bring this back, frame. We could just kind of have that like that. I mean, to be honest, you could have it anywhere actually on the page, I just always go for the corner for some reason and that's just you know out of habit to be honest so just before I glue it on let's just 
let's just experiment and see what that would be like to kind of move away from convention and um, you know break the rules a little bit as opposed to what we normally do so we could have that down there so that's quite pretty isn't it so um and that obviously covers up this here not that it worries me i don't mind it being there it's fine um but i just thought it was kind of nice to do something a bit different and have something stuck a little bit more random in the book rather than always kind of in the corners always at the edges always kind of down the bottom or at the top it's kind of nice to actually just do something really a little bit different isn't it so we'll pop that like that and then down here we'll just pop this gypsy caravan here in the corner that down here <clears throat> there we go. right and then we could have a little bit of lace on there but I don't know whether we need it but while we're here we'll just have a look so we could even have a little bit of blue lace which we don't appear to have used for a bit so um, just a bit. We could pop a little bit of blue there under the caravan, uh, the case or over there by the caravan. So I mean I just think that just adds a little bit kind of of interest really so definitely not essential but you know it just looks sweet. So I'm just going to literally apply some hot glue straight onto the lace there. I'll just literally stick that on like that. So, you know, really easy, really quick. That just looks very cute. So, that's that. That's that one. And then, obviously, I've still got another couple of pages here to do for just the blank journaling pages. And obviously, we've got the inside cover. But I thought now we'll do the pages that we were waiting for to dry. So it was this here, we were just waiting for that to dry so that we could do these two pages here. Now, what I thought we could do here, I have made a book page pocket and again in the last video I talked about um, the book page pockets. Love um, all the book page pockets that are out there, there's obviously tons and tons of people doing the book page pockets. I know that Patricia Veramontes is particularly um, creative you know when it comes to making pockets with the book pages so I'm not trying to claim that this is my idea or anything like that I'm just literally I'm just using one really so I've created this pocket that literally is a kind of pocket down the side um, I've just literally glued it so I haven't stitched it or anything and then I have glued some doily across the top so first thing, we will just ink it up a little bit, so it looks a little bit old and grungy. <clears throat> and just ink along the top. Just ink in there where the thumb hole is a bit. And then what I've done, you see the journal's getting quite fat now, so um, oops. I'm having to kind of weigh it down now. Right, this is one of the little carriage kind of pieces from the kit. Okay, which I thought looked quite nice on here. Could have a little rose as well. Um, or we could just have the rose actually. No, I think we'll have this. So, what I'm going to do is literally glue that down again just using the wet glue like that okay let me just move these 
used one five there are my pieces ready for the next page while I'm here I might as well just um, ink up this page quickly because um, I know that I did say that I will go through the whole book and ink up the pages kind of in slow time but just while we're here anyway I can just kind of ink up a little bit that'll be one less to do um, you know when the book's complete which I will probably just sit then watching TV inking them I mean I'm not going to kind of take a whole load of care because um, you know it's not that kind of book it's a bit more shabby shabby chic than that really so that's that and then obviously it wouldn't be quite right without any trim so I've got here some crochet which we could have either across the top we could have some down here down the side we could have a little ticket maybe kind of there here I'm quite liking the colorless um, thing here I think I said a few weeks ago I love people who do the um, very neutral toned journals with kind of only neutral colors I really really love them and I would love to do one um, I think I have done one or two actually in the past but I really struggle because obviously I'm instantly drawn to color so you know, kind of looking at this page, I think, oh, oh I'll add that, you know, I'll add some colour. But, I mean, actually, sometimes they're really nice kind of with not too much colour, aren't they? So I may just try my very hardest to just kind of create something without adding any colour. Will I be able to do it? That's the question. So, I mean, we could have it like that, or do we want it across the top not sure what I can actually think looks better you see to me that makes it a little bit closed in but then if I put it along the top not sure just not sure um, let me go back into my little packet of um, elements just to see whether there's an element or anything that I might have on there <clears throat> because I don't want to stick it kind of along the top and then find something that would have been perfect along the top I'm not sure now right come on make a decision make a decision top or side right so I'm going to just go for it I'm just going to pop it along the top and this is where probably people are saying, no, down the side. It would have been much better down the side. Sorry. Okay. I mean, I doubt anyone cares as much as that, but, you know, you never can tell, can you? Right. There we go. Decision made. It's on there now. It's too late. I can't change my mind now. So... I mean, I think that's really cute. And obviously it's just this little side pocket here. And what we'll do is probably glue it on as, as a tuck or as a pocket. What do we think? Uh, you see, straight away, I'm back to that deliberation. I think we'll put it as a pocket, this one. So we'll glue it down on the three sides. Like that. And again, I mean, I'm just using the hot glue because it's just quicker. Oops, take off those hot glue threads that kind of come out. Really covered in glue now. Right, now I just touched this here tentatively because I thought that might look quite nice poking out. Because on the facing page, what I thought we'd do is make a little booklet. So I've got here some, I think they call it fly sheet. Um, as you can see, it's really old. It's kind of blotched with all those kind of little marks. Um, so at first I had folded it to have a kind of big booklet. And then I thought, no, actually, let's make a tiny booklet for in here. This is where I noticed that I haven't got my stapler. Oh no! 
Oh, that's really annoying. I wonder if my son has one anywhere. I don't think he has either. Right. Okay, so I'll have to do that off camera. So, <clears throat> what I thought we'd do is create a little booklet and then we'll kind of have a little rosebud holding it closed. Now, obviously, straight away, this is now no longer a colour. <coughs> <clears throat> colourless page. Um, let me just have a look if I've got anything colourless that we could have as the closure instead. I could have that to keep it completely neutral. It's only because I'm challenging myself really to, um, to make something really, really neutral. So I have actually just spotted in my bag of goodies a couple of other neutral items. So oh, I've got quite a few actually. So yes, let's go for the colourless thing. Let's, let's actually challenge myself. So here I've got one of the little photos from the kit printed onto vellum. And we're going to just pop her onto the booklet. Now, next decision is do we want the booklet opening out ways or in ways? Probably in ways because then obviously it's going to be easier to journal on. So, then I'll just put a couple of blobs here, like that. And that's it. Press that down now. I never really trust vellum very much to um, not have the glue showing through and obviously I think it was last week I did something where I used vellum. I was very cautious because I didn't want the glue showing through. Now touch wood, I don't think the glue did show through, I can't remember which page it was that I did something. Um, but I don't think the glue did show through so I'm going to be a little bit braver this week and kind of, ah, I think it was this. I mean, you can see it slightly when you kind of obviously move it in the light, but it's not, it's not too bad. So I'm going to just kind of hope for the best really, because, you know, I did rather want to have it in the vellum. And I'm going to cut this along here because obviously at the moment it's just one sheet and it's, it was folded along the top. So obviously we just wouldn't be able to open it. So... That's that. Okay. And then we've got all these different colourless, colourless items here that we could have, obviously, as a kind of closure. I quite like the suitcase, actually. I think the suitcase is rather nice. Yeah, I quite like the suitcase. So we can have it like that. We could have a bit of doily maybe behind. Yeah, let's have a bit of doily. So I've got this little doily here that's just literally, oops, already cut in half from another time. Even my glue now has got hot glue hanging from it, threads hanging from it. Right. So that's the doily. Like that. Now this piece, as I say, I'm going to have to finish this off camera because then I can obviously staple it together to make our booklet. But then what I will do is obviously stick it here and use the trunk here as a little closure. So it all tucks into the trunk. So I will just ink up the trunk. And I'm just going to ink this one up as well. As well, I'll glue that down as well. Actually, I have just noticed that this is on this page. Oh, it's different. That's okay, it's a different piece. Oh, oh no, I don't want the same piece twice in a row. Right, so glue this one on from the facing page, just literally kind of 
coming out of here like that. Looks really nice. And then this one here like that. And then we're going to have it tucked literally behind the trunk. So I might glue the trunk on now. Just wondering what trim we might like on this page, whether we'd like some kind of underneath the trunk or whether we would actually, you know, whether to go for different trim. I've got this trim here, which is quite a nice wide piece, which might be good. <clears throat> well, that's quite nice, isn't it? So I'll just cut a piece of that. And what we do, so we're going to pop that down roughly there. So let's pop this lace trim down here. And then what we'll do is obviously the trunk is going to act as the kind of closure for the booklet. So I'm just going to pop the trunk here, that would be there. So actually I'm going to kind of pick it up like this and I'm going to hot glue it down. Oh, my hot glue's really got the threads hanging off it now, hold on. I've got paper on it. Ugh. Right. <laughs> so I'm gonna just hot glue it like that. Like that. And then literally I will obviously staple this booklet and then pop the booklet onto the page like that. So love that, I think that looks really, really pretty. And then, um, we didn't ink up this page, did we? So just ink around here a bit. Oops. there. I mean actually because I was obviously planning on tucking it in here and then you would kind of untuck it and flick through it whilst it's stuck down. But now I'm wondering whether it should just be tucked in like that. Let me see if I've got something colourless that I would be able to have on the page because I'm I'm on a mission here to um, have a kind of colourless page. It's not colourless, but you know, a neutral, neutral page, which is a challenge for me. Massive, massive challenge for me. Right, this is where I've now tipped everything out of the little packet there by accident. Right, let's move that one out of the way so I'm not making even more mess. Let's have a look. Just looking for something without any kind of colour, really. A few things here. Look. Don't think there's anything colourless enough, um, which is a bit of a shame, isn't it? I mean, I could cut out this part. Again, that's not really colourless, so that would be cheating to some extent because it's not really colourless. Right, okay, I might not be able to have the colourless thing um, or might not be able to kind of have the little pocket there. Let me just check the backgrounds. See here I've got some background paper. I could really cut a piece of that, just a section of that actually. So if I just take 
up here so as not to be quite so wasteful. I'll take that and I will cut that. So this is one of the background papers, it's just obviously sheet music. And then I'll just ink that up. Just use that as a kind of um, journaling y spot on the page. So let me just ink that up. And then actually what I could do is even um, just coffee dye that lightly or tea dye it. Sometimes when I'm just using a small piece, I just literally use the tea bag from, you know, my own tea that I've just made. And I can just dab it on there because then it's, um, you know, easy to control if you're just kind of doing just a small piece. That's a one off. Let's pop that there. Just see how that looks. And then would that be covered up by that? Yes, it would. Now, does that look colourless enough, or have I now added too much colour to that page, do you think? Let me just have a look. And what I could do, I suppose, is just have another suitcase there to make it a bit more interesting. Oh, yeah, that's quite nice. Right, so I think I'm going to do that. So I'll glue this one down, and actually I'm just going to trim it down slightly at this edge because that's... Um, you know, got a little bit too much blank going on for my liking. And then I will literally glue it down. Like that. Just there. Just press that like that. And then Just ink up this little suitcase here. I hope I am in frame. Oh, it's just the most horrible thought, you know, when you've kind of done something for about 15 minutes and then just think, oh my gosh, that's a out of frame for that whole 15 minutes. Right, hopefully this is okay. Let me bring the book back. Check again. Get used to just checking. It's good exercise, isn't it? Keep standing up. <laughs> right. So I can have that there like that. So I will just glue this one with the hot glue because obviously it's now kind of stuck on a few things. So it's kind of a bit more lumpy. I just want it to stick down really nicely and really well. And then this is obviously just there like that. So I think that looks really pretty. Now I'm just having a look to see whether I've got any of my small ivory bows that I quite like using. I don't know whether I have. I'm just looking in my lovely tin that I bring along. And somebody did make a comment the other day about my tin. Oh, I love my tin, but I have to say it is bursting at the um, seams, so the lid hardly ever kind of actually goes on it anymore. So... Um, but it's just perfect size for doing these little videos. I haven't got an ivory bow, but I have got a little white one. So we could pop that somewhere. Or maybe on there. That just kind of finishes that off quite nicely. Again, I just hold it by the stems and then just hot glue that down. Like that. Okay. It's just on there and obviously I'm going to staple that together <coughs> as the you know for the booklet um do we need any diamante on this page are we going to have a page without oh I don't think we're going to have a page without because as soon as I put that there I just thought how lovely it looked <laughs> you see even trying to have a page without I can't quite make it because then I kind of put it there and think oh no looks good with looks better with so that's on there like that okay right love that oops 
that's tucked down. All right, that looks really nice. And then obviously I've got this, which is matching this photograph. So I thought we could have that as um, the tag in there. So I will just quickly ink this up because it's obviously not been. Some of these have been printed onto um, coffee dyed cardstock or paper cardstock and and or paper and some of them haven't and I did ink up a lot of them but obviously kind of as we've worked through the journal there's now you know a few pieces that haven't been inked up so um, hence we're now having to kind of obviously ink them up as we go she can go there just wonder whether she would tuck in at the side or she might be too long too long for the pocket and stick out oh no she does look so we could have her there actually and then um, we could have a postcard except it's then not colourless well it is colourless that way actually it's just it's got this green here so let's just quickly do that because then um, this page then is completely complete if that makes sense other than the fact that I have got to staple that little booklet together back of it because again this is one from the non-inked and non-coffee dyed um, set there we go. okay that just goes in there so that's a complete page oh my gosh I love it I mean <laughs> you know it's it's really kind of different for me not having any color but I love how it turned out like that really really pretty so very pleased with myself that I managed to restrain myself from any semblance of colour on there. So yeah, and a lot of journaling space on here because you've got obviously this little journaling card, you've got this one here, and then you've got this whole booklet, which you know it's not stapled together yet, but a whole booklet. Um, and then obviously you've got journaling space all around the page also so um yeah I'm I'm really loving that page it might be my favorite page of the whole book so far but maybe that's just because it was so outside my normal comfort zone uh right I'm standing up now and I've just spotted that we're now at 47 minutes so I clearly got really carried away so I really apologize for that um but I just wanted to kind of get cracking a little bit with this journal so um I do apologise if I've kind of taken up too much time of yours. So thank you very much if you did manage to stick with me. And um, yeah, the journal's coming on really nicely now and there's not that much more to do in it. So I'm, you know, really thrilled that it's kind of with how it's looking. So I will catch you next time. So thanks very much and I hope that you all have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye.